Hey everyone, this is Olaf Storm, back with another video. Uh, I've gotten quite a few requests lately to make more of these videos and uh, I've really enjoyed it, so um, here we are again. Uh, today we're going to be looking into some basics and we're going to focus on Photoshop and how to animate within the software. Now there's a lot of software you can use to animate with, but I think if you are someone starting out, this is, will be pretty useful to you. Um, because in my opinion, uh, knowing animation or being good at animation, uh, to be that you have to understand motion. And um, the best way to do that is to break it down into its simplest form, which is the frames. So if you can visualize the movement of, let's say, a character running or a flame burning without the use of, let's say, simulation software or a 3D rigged character that's already have, you know, motion to it or something. Uh, if you can do all that frame by frame, it can be simple, but if you can do it, um, I think you will benefit from that down the line working as an animator. Not saying you should not use those you know, tools like the simulations, they're great, you should use that stuff, but I think when you shape your motion, you want to be the one shaping it and not the software. So um, yeah, in this tutorial we're going to look into the basics of, of animation in Photoshop and uh, how that can benefit for you um, and uh, I will I will kind of expect you to know the interface of Photoshop already so if you don't know that know that you should you know look into another tutorial first but um, without no further ado let's jump into Photoshop so to bring out the animation tools we want to go under window and enable the panel called the timeline now the First thing it's going to ask us to do is what type of timeline we want to create and we want a video timeline so you just click that button and what you'll see here is basically a representation of what's going on over here so you have the same layers if i create a new layer here it will appear here as well um, the only difference is we have some animation tools like a time like you can move the time indicator and um, yeah that's pretty much it and you have some onion skin and stuff like that which i will show you in a minute so if I create a layer and draw on it, um, anything here, it just, you know, stay frozen for our time. You can obviously cut the layers off, um, just like any editing software, and that will turn off. But um, to make animation easier, you want to use video layers, which is under layer, video layers, new blank video layer. Let's put that in the beginning here. Um, so what the difference is here if we delete this other one um, if I draw here and then move forward a frame it disappears and you can go through the frames like this um, a way to make things a little easier is to enable the onion skin um, and onion skin just lets you know what happened before and after so you can set the Let's say the, we just want to see one frame before and on 25% opacity. So what this will do is just show you the previous frame on a lower opacity. And that makes it easier to animate the next. Like this, for example. So let's just try something here. A little blob. And now we make some kind of explosion out of this. simple I'm just kind of going crazy here um, I just want to show you a quick way of making this so so yeah you can see the previous frame and the next frame so you can just sort of scrub back and forth just to test out your your animation here and this is nothing fancy of course but I just want to get the point across. So let's not spend too much time on this. I want to kind of show you how to do some maybe some character animation just after this. Can also add some here. Um, 
Um, yeah, let's do some character animation, like a uh, face turn or something in line with that. Here. And you can kind of maybe focus on one bit at a time, which makes it sometimes a little easier. It's very, very rough, of course, but sort of get the point. skin for a smoother playback okay so this one was quite fast now because our frame rate is at 30 so because that you can set your timeline frame rate here and it, the default will be 30 um, and I kind of want something like 12 for these kind of rough animations or even lower but let's try 12 um, the problem is I should have set this before I started animating so what we have to do now is you change that and then you have to Go to your video layers setting and change the interpret footage or interpret yeah to 12 as well and that should play back in a lower frame rate and that works quite well quick little animation these are really fun and um, a good practice um you know you can just do it with easy shapes like i did now um but i think we want to try something a little bit more challenging now um, let's do a character and uh, quite a simple move I want to do but you know like a head turning or something like that but I think I will speed this process up and just let you watch that so um, enjoy that
so this video is coming to an end. If you have enjoyed this, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, also, let me know if you have any requests for future tutorials. I'm happy to read through that. Um, and yes, f feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video and all that. And watch my other videos, of course. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.